cover the twins. If they get through this night, they'll be all right. Pray for them, Joseph. You're sicker than they are. the reverend's wife. Why help me? I don't know if you're a prophet of God, but I've seen the devil's work tonight.
rich land of America gave hope for the working people. But for Brigham Young, it was not enough. For these were years when the newfound freedom created an atmosphere of conflicting political and religious beliefs. You better find God before it's too late. Where do I look? It's all around you. You can just pick and choose. And the filth of man shall rise and stink to the heavens. And the beasts of the forest shall feed upon your flesh. So it is written, and so it shall be. Change, ye miserable sinner. Change. 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 The Lord smiles down on us. Under his divine guidance, we prosper, and our possessions multiply. Our farm shall yield rich harvests. Our barn shall burst with bounty. For we are the righteous, those who are poor and suffering. This is your punishment for not being true. What kind of church is this you're bringing me to? This is the way they do it. I want to talk to God. Are you crazy? God ain't going to talk to you. Except in Jesus. Moses was the last one he talked to. And you ain't no Moses. How do you know Moses was the last? How do you know God ain't right outside the cabin just waiting to be spoke to? God lives in Jerusalem. The Bible says he's everywhere. He's got a point, Heber. Well, if God's outside, let him come in. <laughs> and if I be no better than my ox, and he be a fine beast, then please, God, tell me so. Tell me I'd be just an animal, and I promise I'd be content to live alongside my brother Ox, and we both be a pair of happy beasts. But if a man be different than the beast, and if you think I'd be a man, then tell me so. I've got to know who am I, God. I ain't asking for special favor. I ain't asking for your blessing. I got no right to ask except for how should I live? I got no money, no trade, no special skill. All I got is the days of my life. How do I make them mean something? Help me, God. I just got to know you're there. Well? There's something here. What was that man's name? Joseph. From where? Kirkland. Ohio. you my way is better you know people look at me and they say for a man who claims to be a prophet of god you're mighty rough cut you don't have much polish about you well i'm like a huge rough stone rolling down a mountain the only polishing i get is when a corner gets knocked off by striking against something else something like religious bigotry priestcraft lawyer craft 
Dr. Kraft, lying editors, lying judges, lying politicians who are backed by mobs, blasphemers, and licentious and corrupt men. By striking against them, I rub off a corner here and a corner there until one day I shall become a smooth and polished shaft in the quiver of the Almighty. But the government of men has been productive of nothing but misery, destruction, and wickedness. Nation has succeeded nation, and we have inherited nothing but their folly. But I see no faults in the church, and therefore let me be resurrected with the saints. Friendship is one of the grand fundamental principles. Friendship is like Brother Turley in his blacksmith shop, welding iron to iron. It unites the human family with its happy influence. I love that man better that swears the stream as long as my arm, yet deals justice to his neighbors and mercifully deals his bounty to the poor than the long, smooth-faced hypocrite. I don't care what a man's character is. If he's a friend to me, a true friend, I will be a friend to him and preach the gospel of salvation to him. Welcome, brother. No two men could have been born further apart. Joseph knew it would take a simple but strong man to keep his dream alive. In Brigham Young, he found the right man. Joseph was a prophet. Brigham was a farmer, a stonemason, a carpenter, a pioneer. To carve a new nation in the wilderness, it would take the strength of both men. We know that God is true, that the Constitution of the United States is true, that the Bible is true, that the Book of Covenants is true. We know that the ministering angels sent forth from God are true, that Christ is true, and that we know that we have a house not made with hands, eternal in the heaven, whose builder and maker is God. Did you enjoy the sermon, Marianne? All week I look forward to Sunday. Isn't it a wonderful day? Oh, I like every day. Oh, so do I, but Sunday the most. Don't you agree? Oh, yes, I agree, Marianne. How long has it been since your wife died? Two years. I wonder if I'll ever marry. You could marry me. I heard your first wife was beautiful. She was. But so are you. I'm building a new house. It's too big for one person. Don't you have friends? I want a wife. When can I expect your answer? As soon as I know my mind. I'm an open book, Mary Ann. What more do you have to know? I'll have to ask God. Ask him. Here? Here and now. Go ahead, ask him. Dear God, is it your will I should become the wife of Brigham? Today I got up at 4.30, fed the chickens, looked after the pigs, milked the cow, and chased some rabbits out of my cabbage patch. Went to church and had a good talk with Brother Joseph. I also got me a wife, Mary Ann Angel, a good woman. Too bad I have to leave for Canada in the morning.
why we go our separate ways, Brother Brigham. Do you feel like a missionary, Brother Heber? I just feel a little hungry and a little lost. But Brother Joseph said, Lord will provide. Lord, start providing. something place to stay the doors are made to knock on I've been kicked out of so many doors lately I figured I better look in the window first kind of be late to looking in windows isn't it I mean you know harm. you don't scare me can you spare a meal why didn't you say so another load. Have you come a long way? My wife asked you a question. Yes. You are hungry. Only the poor have room for one more. Those that set their dogs on me, they were poor enough. What do you do? Carpenter, painter, window fitter. You need work? I am working. Well, then you can pay for this meal. I don't get paid for my work. Well, now, you don't look like a fool. Can't you see, Samuel? He's doing God's work. Preacher? Not exactly. Well, what then? I bring a message. I'd like to hear your message. I'd be a missionary. I gotta tend to the animals. My Samuel is not a religious man. Tell the truth, Claire. My Samuel does not believe in God. Tell it all. He thinks the clergy fatten themselves on the people as we saw them do in England, that they bind people down with superstition and do nothing to make their lives better. I don't believe there could be a God who would let us slave like we did in the Manchester mills. All around us, people starving and, and children dying of sickness. And all the while, the clergy driving by in their carriages. And all we have to do is have faith in Jesus Christ and all would be well. believe in Revelation, that God spoke to Moses? I suppose I do. That he spoke to Paul and the other prophets? Yes. Then why can't he speak to us today? I don't know. Isn't the Bible enough? I thought it was, till I came across this book. What's in it? Why is it so important? Read it. Study it. You'll see for yourself. What did it do for you? I was an animal. It made me a man. Come to God without deception. Your heart is right. It is the gateway into the church and the kingdom of God. I now baptize you by the authority of Jesus Christ and in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. ever make her suffer. I'll find you, and I'll make you pay. Whoa! 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 
Hello there. Why, it's Samuel and Sister Claire. I persuaded my Samuel to move to Kirtland. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Moving to a larger place? Sort of. Say, do you know where Ralph Becker's farm lies? Just about a mile up the road. Why? We bought it by mail. Oh, no. Is there something wrong with the place? No, Becker has a real fine place. Bought it cheap, too. Wonder why he let it go for so little. He's leaving for Missouri. Well, we better get on down and take possession. And so are we. What's that you said? I'm leaving, so's Joseph, Heber, the whole church is leaving. Hey, you can't do this to us. We only moved here so Claire could be close to the church. How much did you pay, Brother Beckett? Why, every penny we scraped together, $100. I'll get it back for you. Then we can all go to Missouri together. Sister Claire, go on in the house. Marianne will fix you something to eat. Thank you, Brother Brigham. Well, suppose Becker won't give me my money back. What do I do then? He'll give it back all right. You don't know Brother Becker like we do. Brother Becker, you knew we were leaving for Missouri when you took that hundred dollars. And you knew the only reason he bought your farm was so his wife could live close to the church. Sure I did, Brother Brigham, but Samuel Rudley ain't one of us. He's a Gentile. Seems to me you, you got a problem, Brother Brigham. I'm going to shut my eyes. I think I'm having an inspiration, Brother Becker. When I open my eyes, I think I'm going to find a hundred dollars in the palm of my hand. If I don't, it means I had a false inspiration. I feel very inspired, Brother Becker. I'd hate to be disappointed. I'm mighty proud of you, Brother Becker. They were forced to leave their homes and move west. And West, in those early days, meant Missouri. Uh, you know why I hear tell they got plans of building a temple? From everywhere. Uh, we let them be, pretty soon they're gonna outnumber us, and then they're gonna outvote us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to get away from any kind of religion. And they ain't going to shove it down my throat now. Yeah, yeah, they don't drink, not. They don't smoke, they don't cuss, they don't do nothing, they don't even gamble. All they do is work and make babies, and that ain't no kind of life for a man. Yeah, you ever see one of them spend nickel? They raise their own food to make their own clothes and to save every penny. Uh -huh. Now, this town is poorer now than it was before they come. Yeah, you can it's a slave state. And you know, there ain't one single one of them that's got a slave of any kind. Now, ain't that something? Abolitionists, that's what they are. Yeah. I hear that they preach that the Lord done give them Missouri. They say they got an angel coming down here going to strike us all dead. And then they're going to give them our land. Well, wait for that angel, Charlie. Maybe they're going to speed up the Lord's plan themselves. You know, they got a Bible that says the angels descended from the tribes of Israel. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. No boys allowed. Excuse me, but do you have a letter for my father? What's your father's name? Brigham Young. I don't hear so good. Who did you say your father is? Brigham Young. Well, uh, have a drink, boy? No, thank you. Oh, no. You put hair in your chest. Yeah. What's the matter with you, boy? No drink? Here, have a two. No, thank you, sir. Spit. Who's your best friend? An Who Indian? Asked? Nobody wants you Why here. Why don't you, don't you tell your old man to get to hell on his own? Why don't you tell him yourself? Go get in the wagon, son. <laughs> I'm expecting a letter. Brigham Young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I believe you have a letter for me. A <laughs> letter? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
A letter for Brigham Young. And that's you, huh? Yeah. Can I have my letter, please? <clears throat> Brigham Young. Uh-huh. Don't see around here much, Mr. Young. <laughs> my work keeps me on the farm. On the farm. <laughs> here you had a good crop. Guess you made a few dollars. Can I sell you something? Not today, thank you. My letter, please. Got some real good cheap whiskey. <laughs> Fresh cigars. <laughs> coffee, tea. Around here, they call me Monk. You know why? Because they say I look like a gorilla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, mister, let me ask you a question. Do you think I look like a gorilla? <laughs> Can I have my letter, please? I ask you a question, mister. What was the question? Oh, hell with it. Have a drink. No, thanks. <laughs> have a chew. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, no. I just want to be friends. Shake, friend. Did you get your letter, Pa? Take this. I told you to wait out in the wagon. Yes, Pa. Sure, I'll shake, friend. Get it, Mark. <laughs> So long. A lot of men wanted to shake hands with Pa. Good afternoon, friends. Sister Claire. Good afternoon, Brother Joseph. And a good afternoon it is. You've come to convert me. You're wasting your time. Today I'm paying you a social call. I'm glad to have you with us, friend. Got a new piano, Sister Claire. We'd like to have you come down tomorrow night and play it for us. Love to, Brother Joseph. You'll come too, won't you? If Mr. Smith doesn't mind. Call me Joseph. Joseph? Samuel. Well, we use the first names now. That's some progress. I just don't understand you. Shoot, Fred. How can you place all your trust in a God who permits all the misery we see around us? Free agency, Samuel. God will not force men to be good. He will not force goodness to gather men around him. Maybe there's not enough room in heaven, and a lot of us just won't make it. Well, I'm more concerned about this world. Well, I'm concerned about both. You should be, too. We'll work with you, same as any brother. Is that all you have to say? What have I left out? My Samuel was expecting a stiff fight. Oh, hellfire and brimstone, eh? To say the least. Well, next time, Samuel. Next time it shall be, Joseph. We will say grace now. Our Father in heaven, we express thanks for things we have. Our home, our food, our family. There's much we do not have, Father. But bless this food that it may strengthen us through the difficulties that surround us. Bless 
nutritious food that it may strengthen us. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Under the table, quick. Come out now. Put the bar in the fire. Come on, just don't go. They may be waiting. We just sit here and let them burn us out? No. Hi, Joseph, please. him with his hands and feet nailed to the wood. Now, do you think you've suffered more than him? And remember, the Lord took care of it in his own good time. He followed those wicked oppressors and left them like, like Jezebel that was eaten by dogs, like, like Egypt that was visited by plagues. So just stop all this wicked talk about blood and vengeance. 
and go to your home and let the Lord take care of it. Go on now. God bless you. Washington, the capital of America, the home of the Constitution that guaranteed all men are created equal and have freedom of worship. Hundreds of statements and affidavits detailing the legal wrongs of the state of Missouri against its citizens are horrendous. Mr. President, every paper on that table is a personal eyewitness account written by a victim or his survivors. And these crimes were perpetrated not by lone mobbers, but under the color of a state militia with written orders and their highest executive, Governor Boggs. Right. Mr. President, if the head of any state is to be permitted to persecute a segment of its population because they practice a religion not approved by the majority, then where is our freedom of worship, guaranteed sacred by the Constitution? Your demand for redress against Missouri is a just cause. But... But what, Mr. President? As President, I cannot interfere in a state dispute, however unfortunate. Besides, this is an election year. I can do nothing for you. If I do anything, I shall come into conflict with the whole state of Missouri. I, I'm afraid I have some very important meetings and appointments. Someday, Mr. President. You will have an appointment with someone far more important than anyone waiting for you now. I wonder how your answer will sound to him. Whoever it is, tell them we're closed. It's Brigham. I suppose you heard. I've heard. We could use a store like yours in Illinois. I like it here. We can supply oxen, wagons, and help you move. What makes you think it'll be any different in Illinois? Yeah, we can't stay here. There'll be bloodshed. The same thing could happen in Illinois. Why should they feel any different to Mormons than the folks here? You don't believe in anything, do you, Samuel? Winter is cold, and summer is hot, and rain is wet, and if I cut my hand, it bleeds. You only believe in things you can feel. Is that it, Samuel? That's it. And I read books, books of fact, not fairy tales like the Bible. Joseph says, if a person looks up at the night sky for five minutes, just looks and sees what's up there. Why, he'll know more about heaven than read never book that was ever written about it. Joseph is a good man. He's just trying to do too much, help the world, and, and change everybody. And he can't. And that's why he's always going to be in trouble. Then you'd want him to give up. It's his life. I just don't want to follow it. And you'll be staying in Missouri. Brethren, the saints must have a place of their own. And I have found it. Right now, it is just a malaria-infested swampland. Nobody wants this land. But I believe that we can drain that swamp. We can cut the brush and make it a healthy place to live. Through the blessings of heaven and the hard work of the saints, I consider it wisdom to build us there a new city, which we will call Nauvoo, which is a Hebrew term signifying the beautiful.
Good afternoon, Sister Claire. Good afternoon, Brother Joseph. And a good afternoon it is, Brother Samuel. I'm not your brother yet. 